Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting, tricky and a popular question from entrance examination. We know that AB equal to 1, BC equal to 2 and CA equal to 3 and we need to find our thumb A plus B plus C. So I see this question multiple times in entrance examination, so right now let's try to solve this question correctly and step by step. So you can also write your approach, write your assumption down into the comment section and then we will check the answers. Okay, so first step, I'm, what I'm going to do right here, so our first step, let's move multiply our AB times BC and let's divide it by CA. So just look at it. So we have AB, we're going to multiply it by BC and let's divide it by CA. Yeah, right here. But we know everything about it. We know AB equal to 1. So we have 1 times BC equal to 2 and we divide it by CA. CA equal to equal to 3. But let's look closely. What do we have on the left side? On the left side, we can easily cancel our C from here. We can easily cancel our A. Yeah, and as a result, we have only B times B. B times B equal to B square. So as a result, on the left side, we have B square equal to on the right side 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 3. We have Two third. This are our fraction. So let's write it. So we have two two third. This is extremely important expression for us. So b square equal to equal to two third. But right now let's multiply. Let's use different combinations. So let's multiply a b times c a and divide it by b c. Let's see what will happen in in this time. Okay. So we have a b times c a. Different combination. Yes, c a and divided by by b c. <clears throat> As a result, we know everything about it. A b equal to one times CA, CA equal to 3, and we divide it by BC, BC equal to equal to 2. As a result, we can easily from here on the left side, we can easily cancel our B, we can easily cancel B, we can easily cancel our C, so as a result, we have only our A times A. A times A equal to <coughs> equal to A square. So as a result, we have A square equal to 1 times 3 is 3, 3 half. Yeah, we have 3 half, this is also our and this is also our fraction, yeah? This is also our fraction, so we really need this expression. And the third expression, so the last combination, <coughs> sorry, we're going to multiply BC times CA if divided by AB. And let's see what will happen in this time. So we have BC, BC times CA, and we're going to divide it by AB, yeah? A, B. We know, we know everything about it. We know BC equal to 2, CA equal to 3, and we divide it by, um, by AB, AB equal to equal to 1. So as a result, with the same logic, on the left side, we have, we can easily cancel our A and A, we can easily cancel our B and B, and as a result, we have only our C times C, which is equal to C square. So we have C square equal to 2 times 3, we have 6. So C square equal to equal to 6. So this is our first step. I really hope you understand it. We just use uh, three combinations to find our squares. A square, B square, and, and C square. What are we going to do next? We really need to know about a really important algebra formula. This formula looks like that. I really hope you understand it. You learned it. So we have A plus B and plus C. This is our formula to the second power. A plus B plus C to the second power equal to A square a square plus b square plus c square and plus 2 times a thumb a b plus b c and plus c a plus c a. This is our formula and if you look closely we know everything. We know a square from here, we know b square from here, we know c square from, from, from here and this thumb a b b c c a we can easily find at this moment a b b c c a. So we know, we know everything about it and we have the thumb that we need to find. Of course we can uh, we, we have it with the second power but that, that doesn't matter, okay? So let's let's try to find this sum. So we have a plus b and plus c, okay, to the second power equal to, so a square, 3 half, 3 half plus b square, 2 third from here, yeah, 2 third from, from this place, so we have 2 third, plus c square equal to 6, plus 2 times a, b plus b, c plus c, a, we know everything about it, a, b, b, c, c, a, so 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3, so we have 1 plus 2 and plus 3. So let's simplify this expression. Let's do this. Let's, let's simplify this. So we have a plus b <coughs> and plus c to the second power, to the second power equal to, we have 3 half plus 2 third. Let's leave it like that. Uh, so 3 half plus 2 third and plus plus 6 plus, right here we're gonna, we're gonna find it. So we have right here 2 times 
uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3, so we have 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus uh, 2, we have, uh, we have uh, 6 times 2, we have 12, yeah, we have 12, okay, and then I could, in the next step let's add these fractions and let's add this 6 plus, mm, 6 plus 12, let's do this right now, so we have a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c to the second power, equal to, right here we need to find our common uh, denominator, as a result we can easily write it, uh, this is our 6, yeah? this is our common denominator, this is our 6, as a result we have right here 3 times 3, 3 times 3, plus 2 times 2, yeah, 2 times 2 times 2, and plus, right here we have 6 plus 12, equal to 18, 18. Okay, and the last step, let's write our uh, fraction, so uh, as a result of a plus b plus c, uh, to the second power equal to 3 times 3, 9, 9 plus 4 equal to, equal to 13, so we have 13 over 6 plus 18. We can easily find it with the, with the same logic, with the, with the common denominator, let's do this, so we have 6, we have 13 in our numerator right here, but plus 18 times 6, 18 times 6. 18 times 6 is uh, equal to 108, so this is equal to 108, and as a result we have 108 plus 13, 121, yeah, so as a result from here we have a plus b plus c uh, to the second power equal to, right here we have what, 13 plus 108 equal to 121, so 121 over over 6. And it looks like this is our answer, but this is our a plus b plus c to the second power, okay? We need to find only a plus b plus c, so for this let's let's apply square root on both sides, so on the left side and of course on the on the right side. As a result our thumb a plus b and plus c equal to square root of 121 over over 6. And from here, according to a uh, square root property, we can easily split it, we can write it as uh, square root of 21, 121, 121, we can divide it by square root of square root of 6. And right here, square root of 121 equal to 11. Yeah, this is our table case, this is our all known, all known value, so we have 11 over square root of 6. And it looks like this is our answer and everything is great, but we don't need the square root of, square root of sine in our denominator. So for this, we need to remove our rationality uh, from, from both sides, so we need to multiply our uh, numerator by square root of 6 and our denominator by square root of 6. So as a result, in our denominator we're gonna cancel this square root of sine, so as a result we have only our 6 in our denominator and 11 square root of 6 in our 11 square root of 6 in our numerator, so let's write our final answer to this question. So our answer, our answer, so the thumb a plus b and plus c is equal to, is equal to 11 square root of 6, 11 square root of 6 over over 6. This is our answer, so I really hope you understand it, I really hope you understand my solution, so right now let's go real quick through the steps, mm, because this is a very tricky question, a lot of students mm, fail their exam because of this question, they find different combinations, they multiply these three expressions by each other, but as you can see right here, when you know a squares, when you know a squares according to this method, when we, when you try these combinations, the first combination, secondly, we're gonna swap these two, and the third, we're gonna write this first expression in our denominator, so we have three three squares. And of course uh, it's not enough for you to find squares. The second really important step is to know about this formula, because uh, among all these uh, among all these expressions we really need to find a very uh, thewed formula for us, because right here we, we're gonna we're gonna solve this question according to this formula and we know everything. This is an extremely important moment to find a great formula for you, because right here we know a square, we know b square, we know c square, we know uh, these uh, the thumb and we have expression that we need to find we need to find our a plus b plus c okay so two steps two really important steps the first step is the idea to solve this question to use these three combinations to find squares and secondly maybe the most important thing like um, the crucial moment for you to understand to learn this formula this formula helps you a lot you can easily if you have um, if you need to solve this question in a reverse way of course uh, sometimes you need to solve uh, for example you need to find a square plus b square plus c square Nothing hard, you can easily write this expression on the left side, this one goes to the right side, and of course you can easily 
look you can easily work you can easily mix all these expressions on the left side on the right side so this expression this formula is extremely mm, great for you to solve this type of question and on this point i really hope you understand it basic algebra addition addition frag the common denominator so nothing hard so the main two two things the first one uh, combinations and the second step is is our formula so i really hope you understand my explanation i really hope you learn something new you can also write to respond down into the comment section it's extremely important to exchange information maybe a lot of students a lot of teachers watch my videos and of course this is not only one method how can we solve it there are a lot of ways how can we do this so if you like if you're advanced in math you can easily think a little bit about this question you can easily rework my method uh, and you can easily solve this question with a little bit different uh, way with a little bit different approach which is also really great to see a question from from a different perspective yeah so thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself write your response write a comment down into the comment section i really appreciate it and i'm really grateful that you watch my videos that you watch my channel i really mm, impressed i really it's really important and it it inspires me to make new videos every day so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself have a great day see you in the next videos